17 years ago. We've had people pull off the highway, come around, knock on the door and say they just love it. 50s pinup girl Betty Page found a home on the side of Chris Brugos' house. She's the one, really. Uh, I think she was kind of like the classic. At the time, Chris thought the strategic sensor, giving a new meaning to having your mind in the gutter about the girl next door, would be a problem. So it shouldn't be offensive to anyone because she's not, she's covered up. 17 years later. I'm starting to lose track of how many times it's been vandalized. There's a different problem. Over the years, the mural, which now includes world famous drag queen Divine, has been tagged several times. The latest happening over the Memorial Day weekend involving four people. Put on some anti graffiti coverage on the house, so we're going to be able to save the murals. That's Chris Brugos. Despite that measure he and his wife Jessica Baxter put in place to protect the murals, it's still going to take time and cost a lot of money to repair and restore this home. I think between ten dollars and $20,000 to fix all the damage. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. That's going to suck to come home to for a while. Yeah, it's just really disappointing. The Jessica says knowing someone deliberately spray painted almost every surface of her home is unnerving. But they're getting through this with a lot of support. We really feel held by our community uh, in a way that makes this a lot less scary. Chris doesn't want to think too much about what motivated these people. But if he had to guess the reasons why the murals were targeted. I think the feminist icons that we have on our house make some people mad. And that's I, I do think that's the motivation. The couple has filed a police report and they're hoping security cameras picked up a license plate so police can figure out who's responsible for all this damage. Live in the U District, Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News.